the ancient mega lake, the largest lake ever, held 10 times the water of all lakes today. Now, of course, when we look at the maps of our Earth, it's amazing what the Earth looked like millions of years ago. It has nothing to do with what we have today. And besides the shocking uh, revelation that the Earth is swallowing up its oceans at a rate of three times more than what geologists and oceanographers believed it was, some 10 million years ago, the Paratethys Sea mega lake the largest lake in Earth's history covered an area greater than the size of today's Mediterranean Sea. Now, if we look at the map around the 7 o'clock position, that's where we see the boot of Italy and then Greece. Well, they're, of course, in the Mediterranean Sea, the Tethys Sea. But the mega lake there shows it was over, for example, where today's Black Sea is and all of Ukraine, most of Ukraine and up to past Ma Moscow. And I wonder uh, if these things have a lot of water underneath them. So basically it was just above Turkey uh, and all that area up there. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. It covered an area greater than today's Mediterranean Sea, and on the modern map it would stretch from the Alps above Italy to Kazakhstan in Central Asia. Up to now, little has been known about the ebb and flow of the Paratethys Sea during its lifetime, but a new study identifies four cataclysmic climate-driven cycles that shrank the lake and most likely killed off a significant number of the species living in it. The aquatic life of the Paratethys Sea was unique, covering everything from mollusks and crustaceans to small whales as well, and dolphins that evolved to suit their restricted environment. As water levels dropped and sea and salt levels rose, however, very few of these creatures would have survived, the researchers said. It must have been a post-apocalyptic, prehistoric world, an aquatic version of the wastelands of Mad Max. This is what geologist Wout Kriegsman from Utrecht University of the Netherlands says. Kriegsman and his colleagues studied fossil records, sedimentary deposits, and the geology of the area around the Black Sea, at the center of where the Paratethys Sea used to be, to identify four major dips in the water level over several million years, while also modeling and simulating water levels across the region. The most severe dip was the last one recorded between 7.65 million and 7.9 million years ago, previously named the Great Cursonian Drying. During this episode, Paratethys seawater levels plummeted as much as 250 meters, that's 820 feet. Can you imagine? The lake going down almost a thousand feet, separating the mega lake into mini lakes that at times would likely have been toxic to most aquatic life. According to the scientists' calculations, the mega lake could have lost up to 70% of its surface area and up to a third of its volume during these dry periods. At its peak in terms of capacity, it would have covered an area of some 2.8 million square kilometers. That's over a million square miles, holding more than 10 times the amount of water that's found in lakes on the planet today. Temperature and precipitation shifts across Eurasia were also affecting changes on land, of course, with open environments replacing forest environments and types of woodland changing. How these evolutions fed into and affected each other is yet to be fully figured out. The partial mega lake desiccations match with climate, Food web and landscape changes, of course, throughout Eurasia, although the exact triggers and mechanisms remain to be resolved. Created from tectonic shifts and the rise of central European mountains, the Paratethys Sea would have survived for around 5 million years in total, the geologic record shows, before alterations in the landscape meant it drained away into the Mediterranean Sea. 
Another recent study shows how dropping water levels around the Paratethys Sea turned shorelines into grasslands, provided fertile ground for the evolution of land creatures as well. In fact, the diversity, diversity of the African savanna is likely to be down to migration caused by the major dry periods of this era. Of course, climate-driven changes in landscapes and wildlife remain a very pertinent topic today, millions of years after the Paratethys Sea dried up. Every study like this is a reminder of the very real threat we face today. As the studies into the past continue, they can tell us more about our future. The researcher said, the wider impacts and implication of these hydrological crises in particular beyond the Paratethys Sea are still poorly understood. So you can understand from these maps how different this area, especially of Europe, looked. It's amazing. This is on Science Alert by David Neald and um, by Utrecht University, and it's been published in Scientific Reports. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.